everybody, welcome back to another episode of the 900, my Battletech Flashpoint series. So today, um, we're kind of licking our wounds after the last episode where we took a little bit more damage than I thought we would. Um, a lot of heavy vehicles we were fighting. We did okay, but not stellar, obviously. So we've got everybody repaired here, so we're going to go ahead and take another mission today. Um, I've been considering what we're going to do about reputation as we've been dropping in reputation with certain factions. So, um, like for instance here, we're disliked by the pirates. So, I'm thinking that for these missions where we're doing stuff for the planetary government, um, we should go, you know, um, for pay and salvage. Whereas I think when we turn around and do missions for certain factions, we should be factoring in um, reputation for these guys and maybe weighing that a little bit more than cash and salvage just in order to stay in their good books or else we're going to be making everybody our enemies if by taking just planetary government jobs so we're going to have to kind of maintain a balance there so for today what we're going to do is I think we're going to try this um, um, forward observers I'm going to go with, with the one skull today uh, after that kind of pasting we took last time I want to kind of just kind of dial it back a little bit today, do something a little uh, a little easier just to kind of get back into this. Um, I do normally batch record several videos at once for each of these, so I want to kind of do this one first and then I'll get into maybe hot landing. And um, I might try lost supplies depending on how we're doing. Um, far fireworks is definitely another one I want to do. Uh, this target acquisition mission is interesting. I don't think I've ever done a target acquisition mission. Um, but I want to get... Uh, something simple done first before I record the other video. So I'm going to do this one first today. So let's negotiate. And we are going for the planetary government here. It doesn't really matter which way we go this way um, because the reputation is obviously going to be minus three no matter what we do. So we're going to go max salvage, I think, today. Maybe we go two of 11. Um... It's a one skull. We're going to have to do... We may have to do some repairs. I think I'm going to go this route and go 3 or 14 salvage and accept this. And we're going to bring our spider back. And Rover's coming in to pilot the spider today. And we're going to deploy and get this done. Alright. Know this map awfully well here. So chances are, since these guys are surveying military and industrial targets, there's one lance here and they've got reinforcements. As Darius said, they don't know how much, um, how many units are on the ground or if there's any additional, re or if there's um, other units around. So we've got to be very careful. So we're going to um, move up, I think, along this route. And try and keep, if we can. Going to try and keep this big hill here, right here, between us and any reinforcements that may come. So let's uh, reserve. So we've got a medium and a light. And I'm really hoping the little mech is the medium, because we do want to pick up some more medium mech parts. Enemy detected. Okay. Can't get so lucky as to have that medium, but another locust, okay. So we're going to blow through this guy real fast. Although I do want to have a look at see what vehicle they've got behind there. So I think probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to reserve here. We've still got pretty good evasion. Let that vehicle move forward a little bit. Okay, so let's move up. Um, what do we got? I'm not going to know how much. We're going to move up. I shouldn't have moved the Vindicator first. He was kind of blocking everybody. But uh, we got really good chances to hit on this Galleon. And low armor, so we should be able to kill it in one volley here, I think. All weapons committed. Come on. Nope. 
Can't get that lucky, I guess. Okay, another vehicle coming up on this side. Yep. Okay, so let's get... Uh, who can we get in here next? Ripley's got to go next. And let's move into here. I copy. I think what we'll do... Yeah, this guy just needs to be peppered with something. Look at that. Like... Ah, we stripped all the armor off him. Anyway, we're going to fire on this guy instead. We've got four mediums. We'll leave the spider to take out that guy. I copy. Okay, nice. Waiting for orders. And Weasel will get in here. Now we pulled the SRM-4 off of this one. Moving Put out. more armor on it. going to fire everything on the Locust here. Better chances to hit. Here it comes. Nice, all four. And let's get Rover down. Actually, you know what? We're going to not fire on the vehicle with Rover because the vehicle is going to go after all of our light mechs anyway next turn. So we're going to just keep applying pressure to this guy and fire on him. Ugh. Wow. And hopefully, hopefully he won't move first next turn. We can get lucky, take him out, and then take the vehicle out. No, 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 no. I've got eyes on hostile Yeah. They're heading your way. So that could be a panther. <sighs> really? Okay, we need to move. Uh, orders? You need to move. Um, let's get at a direct line of sight. Pretty good chances right here in front of this guy. So we're going to take them. And we're going to drop everything straight into the center of this guy and fire everything. Firing all weapons. There we go. Mech destroyed. we got to make sure we clear out their uh, line of sight on us here. Now, I don't want to play too much cat and mouse with them around this way because if there's guys up on this hill, they can just shoot down and hit us. So, I think once we kill this vehicle, we're going to come back, maybe funnel them into this choke point here. See what see what we can do here. Let's not move too far up. We're going to move up to here. I'm there. Shoot on the vehicle. Gotcha. That should be it. And then there was six. Enemy vehicle removed. Nice. Okay, so we're going to reserve now. One of their guys goes on turn two. Uh, I hope that's a, that's probably got to be a vehicle. That's probably the vehicle here. All right, let's reserve. Waiting for the right move. Okay, here comes our next victim. Now he's presented us his side, so the benefit of that is that we can now move in. Um, where do we want to go? That's going to give him better line of sight on us, I think, if we kind of go up the hill. So let's move into here. We want to keep our front facing the enemy, so if they've got splash damage, they're going to splash it everywhere. We're going to fire into the side of this guy. Roger that. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing with MC900 for Jesus here. We're going to move up a little bit. What's our chance? Not bad. 25 with the LRMs only. 45. We're just a little too close. Uh, do I want to go more to... Yeah, let's go back here. I do want to hit him for a certain amount. So let's do this. And uh, let's push him back so he doesn't get eyes on us. We're going to try and shoot for the CT. We're just going to fire everything. Ah, uh, we missed with the most important one. But we got a lot of missiles in there, so that's kind of good. So by pushing him back a turn, pretty much ensures that he's not going to be able able to fire at all. We've got three light mechs that can go before him. We can burrow right through his side and kill him. That's the goal anyway. Waiting for orders. So we're going to get Weasel back here. Uh, let's get into here, I think. I think if we're here, they shouldn't be able to see us. 
from the hill, but we're going to turn slightly just to make sure if they do see us, they can't really hit us. Mm, they can still kind of see us, I think. Uh, I don't know, maybe not. We might be okay. As long as we kill this guy. So, still having problems with heat, but we'll fire three. Okay, there's the leg. Ooh, and a head hit, too. So if we take the torso on this guy... Hmm. Not a whole lot left there. I'm going to run the risk. We're going to bring... Yeah. We're going to bring Rover up here. We're going to take a couple shots at this guy and see if we can't just burrow through this side into the torso here. Uh, we're going to aim for the torso, but we'll see what happens. Come on. Yes, there we go. I need a new target. Five left. The second lance might be a weaker lance, but it's unlikely. So once again, we're looking to just, like I said, funnel them into a choke point. As long as they don't have eyes on, I don't have to worry about them. But the last thing we want to do is pull out now in front of these guys, because that gives them plenty of shots against us. That's what this vehicle does. The vehicle, however, we can get eyes on the vehicle because we all go before the vehicle. So can we get eyes on at all? Get eyes on a mech from up here. That's pretty much it. Well, if we move up and get eyes on, well, if we jump, we can get eyes on and then we can jump away. We can go first next turn and jump away. So we're going to do that. We're going to jump up here. And we've got a striker down here. Fairly, fairly chunky armor on this guy. Uh, what do we got? A Jenner D. Yeah. 55%. What's the chance on here? 80 on this guy. So we're going to shoot on this guy. All weapons are go. Okay, nice shooting. Looks like we hit that one side, which is good. Let's have a quick look here before we move in. Yeah, so this side is really hit. So we're just going to move over here. Oh, that's all indirect, eh? No way to get direct fire on that guy? I guess he's kind of behind a hill there. With our one jump jet? No? <laughs> uh, so we can't actually hit him with it unless we use long range. So let's just move up here. Stay behind the hill. And we will use our LRMs on this guy. We might get lucky and kill him. I just want to move to the side of him before we fire. And we'll just fire away. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. Enemy unit destroyed. So missiles off the field. Let, let, we'll let them go first. Is that a panther? Yep. I had to run the risk of take, getting shot there, so... All right, so we're going to let Ripley yes, Commander. jump down here, like so. Turning our front towards where the enemy is going to be coming from, and we'll brace. Going to reduce the heat here. Who's our next victim? Spider? Maybe. Let's reserve. That Jenner might decide to come around the corner. I'd rather kill him first. Yeah, they're all moving in there. So let's... Um, Let me think about this now. Let's reserve. And then let's do... Commander? Ooh, we can see them from back here. Let's do this. Rolling. fire on this guy. Okay, one hit. Nice. I think that was a leg hit. Let's have a quick look here. It was. So let's get uh, Weasel Ready back. I was hoping to cool off this turn, but we're going to take advantage of this uh, because we can see this guy. So precision strike. We're going to go against the leg. We're only going to fire two. And that's fine. We're just really looking at pushing him back a turn. So maybe we're only going to fire one, I think, just to push him back. 
Okay, one hit, no big deal. I think it was the other leg that time. Yep. So, 900 foot, we can get in and see this guy. The other guy's a spider, not too worried about that. This guy's been pushed back a turn. What about moving here? We're gonna get a better shot on this guy. We are with the missiles. I think I want to go for more pinpoint hit here. So we're just going to move in. And I think we'll leave the LRM-10 off for this turn. Uh, it's not really making that much of a difference. So let's leave it on. And we'll fire everything straight on this guy. Okay, a couple hits. Nice. So he's got exposed structure. I'm guessing that's the leg. Here comes the uh, panther. Oh, interesting move. That might change things here. Um, Waiting for orders. Forty percent from there. Sixty-five if we move in. Uh, you need to move first. Forty-five percent from here. I think we need to change targets. Forty percent. I think we need to change targets. Oh, that PPC's got to go. Unfortunately, I have got no choice at this point. I like to try and claim that Jenner, but I think this PPC really has to go. All gonna be side hits on this guy. Target acquired. Ah, damn. Well, you're just making it easier for everybody else to shoot him, so that's good. Okay, there's Spider, not getting any luck. Waiting for orders. I still find the invasion system in this confusing. But whatever. Uh let's move. I don't think it really matters where we're going to move here. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. So let's move back over here. And we'll fire on this guy. I think I'm going to push this guy back the turn this time. I'm going to try for an arm shot. That's okay, we're gonna you guys are all gonna be going before him next turn anyway. So let's move into fifty percent. Nice. Let's move into here. Moving to position. Now I don't know if we can fire everything. We can. So we're gonna fire it all. Aye, aye. Okay, one arm hit, one leg hit. All of our guys will be going before him next turn, so that's that's okay. Okay, that was probably the best possible outcome. Damage, that generator could have come through that valley there and attacked one of my guys from the side, which could have been bad. Uh, let's move back. Don't think that's going to be a side hit. I think I'm going to have to be over here. I think I'm going to have to be here. Like this. That guy's going to jump next turn. But we've got three shots before him. And we're going to fire everything on this guy's side. All weapons committed. Okay, arm hit. Another arm hit. There it goes. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the PPC now. Enemy mech. That's all I was really worried about with this guy, but we may be able to finish him up here if we can burrow through. Okay, somebody adding a bit of heat to their uh, disaster here. Oh, they're jumping up there. Okay. Kind of makes sense. This guy, no torso and CT hits yet, but we can go after that leg. So let's get Ripley. Let's get Weasel first, I think. Oh, we're all trapped on this hill now. I guess you gotta move first, eh? Um, do we want to go this route? I think we do. 
I was thinking about jumping up there, but it's probably a bad idea. So we're just gonna fire on the side of this guy. Maybe we get the leg. Two torso hits. Okay. Comes the spider. Was that two hits? It looked like it was. Don't like it when we're that close with the camera because I can't really tell. Yeah, it looks like we took a couple shots there. Alright, talented Mrs. Ripley. She's going to come down here. Going to fire on that guy. Um, still trying to, to uh, maintain my... Uh, Heat levels here. Got it. Okay, one leg hit. That hit something good. Okay, my gender is going to go up there, I think. Uh, probably not. Probably because of we got heat problems here. So we're going to circle back around. Look at the heat on these things. It's crazy. All right, we're going to attempt a precision strike on this guy again. We're going to go for a torso shot, I think. 26. 10. I'm going to go for a leg shot. Uh, I'm going to fire two. Affirmative. Oh, got one of each. That should blow the torso off and the leg. Report he should go down. Okay. Now the question is, we want to finish him up. Is it worth it at this point? So only got an SRM4 left. This guy's a danger right now, so I'm thinking... Not very good chances to hit there. Yeah. Um... Let's do this. Wow. Um, don't have enough for an offensive push either, which is what we should be using against this guy right now. Let's finish the panther up. Let's try to anyway. Fire everything. I just want to maximize my uh, my hit chances here. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yeah, he's not having a good day. So he's got one left <laughs> in the CT. One point. Are you serious? So he's getting multi-targeted next turn by the Vindicator. Light one point. Really, really... Okay, let's let's um <sighs> let's do this. And let's shoot this guy and fire. This should be good. Damn. I saw that. I saw that. Trying to get his turn in here. Before he croaks. Okay, so... Talented Miss Ripley. Can we get to a point? It's only a 30% chance to hit there, though. 50% from here. So let's move out like this. Roger that. And let's shoot on this guy. I'm gonna fire everything. Firing a full salvo. Accuracy through volume of fire. Okay, as long as he keeps heating himself up, I'm happy. I see that. Good to go. Okay, can we 
I cannot see the Jenner from here. Twenty-five and fifty, eh? We're outside of his seventy percent. So let's move in here. I'm gonna use the Jenner to try and finish up that. Uh, Oh, that's a waste of fire, though. Let's just fire on the spider. Get this guy started. I'm just thinking that if, if we fire the medium lasers on the panther, it's a waste of fire because I can use the uh, LRM-10 to finish him up. Don't want to play the back game with us, dude. Don't want to play the back game with us, dude. Of course it is. That's going to be rear arc. So we're going to move back here. We're going to, sorry, we're going to moonwalk back here. And we're going to multi-target. That's going to be A. That's going to be B. And B is getting the LRM. All we need is one hit to the CT and that guy's dead. So let's fire on the spider. Engaging multiple targets. Didn't think we were going to hit the spider. This should do it though. Yep. So there's an, S there's an SRM-4 off the board. Yeah, so they only had 33 or 3 uh, reinforcements, so... That's not moving far enough, dude. Nice shooting, though. Commander. Oh, head hit. Really? Really? We gotta hire another pirate. Pi hire another pirate. Gotta hire, hire another pilot now. Yes, Let's get back here. Uh, maybe here? Yeah. And we're going to do this on you. And we're going to try for a headshot. We're only going to fire one. Well, that works too. The goal was just to push him back a turn so we can do this. And we'll fire. Can we get three in now? No, I still can only get two. Fire two. Hmm. Really? I think we can afford to do this one. Let's do that. And we'll fire three on this guy. Putting one in the back. Putting three in the back. You want to play that game, do you? I'm gonna give these guy that guy up there a target, so we're gonna move back to here. So I'm the target now, and we'll multi-target. We're gonna shoot this guy and this guy. LRMs to B. Engaging multiple targets. Will that do it? Leg, torso. Nice. Pushes the spider back a turn, though. Okay, a little bit of hits. Not bad. I'm here. I think we're out of that guy's range, because I can't hit him, so he can't hit me. So we're just going to stand here. We're going to shoot on this guy's torso and fire. All weapons are go. We get it. And there we go. Pilot incapacitated. That's a kill. That is a kill. Commander? Commander. Let's get up here. And this guy's not even moving, so... Uh, let's just fire two on him. Okay, there goes two medium lasers. Damage. You certainly did. And a Ripley. Yes, Same side, please. Get that stability back. And we're going to fire three. Roger. Come on, burrow through. Scored critical hit. 
he's panicking now. Somebody's not having a good day. Let's see if we can finish this up here. Vindicator, it's going to be a front shot, but we'll do our best here. Ah, that's not enough. Turn one medium laser off, fire the rest. Oh, nice. There we go, folks. That wasn't so bad. Alright, so there's a good boost to our confidence. 20% 20 20 increase in payment, 54,000, not bad. No significant damage across the board. Got a little bit of penetration here on the one, on the, on the one leg here, but uh, no internal structure damage, which is awesome. So now we get to choose what we want here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a tough choice, eh? Hmm. Thinking. Probably that. So, yeah. That wasn't really what... <laughs> wasn't what I was expecting for salvage, but okay, I thought we would get more mech parts, but that's alright. Alright, well, there we go. We're down a pilot now so um, we've got more contracts to do here burden of proof just showed up here which is kind of nice 24 days away though um, but we want to take you know probably this one at some point this one we definitely want to get our reputation back up with the pirates um, Let's have a look at the hiring hall, see if there's somebody we can pick up here. Hambone. Eh. Yeah. Stats wise, Starfish. Noble Air, 22,000 per month. It's a little more, but she starts off with better skills, which I think is probably going to be better overall. Although Saxon Tux starts off with um, Sensor Lock which could be of value. Although we've only really got one unit that can take advantage of that sensor lock, and that's the Vindicator. Um, but it's also good for stripping evasion off mechs you want to lose evasion on. But this guy is only one away from that, and it's got an extra gunnery point, so I'm thinking probably Starfish. It's good to go. Um, Standing by. Yeah, she might get training extra skill points too when she starts. So let's let's hire Starfish, New mech warriors. and let's have a look at the barracks real quick just to see if she does get extra skill points here. Where is she down here? Nope. Oh well. Waiting for orders. All right, Weasel. Um, what do we want to do here? Don't know. I think we'll hold off for that. 900 for Jesus. We got enough for more piloting, but I think we're going to save up for more gunnery. And these two are out. So yeah, we'll leave it there, I think, for now. Uh, we're not bad. I think we can groom Starfish yes, um, as a sensor lock candidate. I think we'll go along that route. Maybe sensor lock and piloting. Um, not sure yet, but we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so I think we'll leave the video here. Next time when we come back, we're going to take that pirate mission, I think. See what we can get out of that. Get, some, get, a bit get a bit of rep for that. Get some cash. We're still short on our financial report here. So we'll have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, if you, you like the video, drop a like. And until next time, we'll see you all later.